<laughs> Sylph. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. I have a very juvenile sense of humor, apparently. And I'd probably make more wisecracks, but we have a complicated situation to go through here. I haven't watched Final Jeopardy yet, so I'll be interested to see what everyone does. But those of you who are quick with math will notice that Tiambi and Lindsay are separated by 2400. Lindsay and Ben are separated by 2400. We have a situation called evenly spaced scores, which, when ties were allowed, would have been pretty good for tie opportunities. But now, there might be some mind games that enter into this. So let's see what everyone should do, and then we'll go from there. We'll make some guesses. 9,400 for Lindsay. We'll give her 18,8. So to cover that, Tiambi's got to wager 7,000. At the least. If she is wrong, she's going to be left with uh, 4,800. So stay above that, Ben can wager up to 2200 and Lindsay can wager up to uh, 4600 looks like. Okay, if Ben doubles up, he's going to have 14000 So to cover that, this is, this is where the fun part gets mentioned for the first time. 4600 at a minimum for Lindsay. And I guess if Tiami wants to play around with this 2200, I like to put this wager way down at the bottom because I'm not a big fan of the first covering third and letting second go by them. Okay, so that's, uh, oh yeah, I should just do on the downside, um, if Tiambi's wrong, she's going to have uh, 9600, so Ben could consider wagering at least. 2600 in that case, I go for everything. Okay. Into the bin with the blue, and now I'm going to use orange, looks like. Lindsay, with this $4,600 wager, that's. We already know what Tiami has to wager. Um, what about Ben with this $2,200? I should say that this $7,000 for Ben would be good in case Lindsay wagers. 4,600 exactly as well. I would put him into a tie, potentially. Uh, ben wagers this amount. He's going to have 9,200, so to stay above that, uh, Tiambi could wager 2,600 at most, or Lindsay could cap her wager at 200. And I don't see too much else that we could do here. Okay. Now I'll go to the zero covers, so if Ben wants to cover a zero wager by Lindsay, he's going to have to wager at least 2400 That's going to put him at the 7000 range. He'd also have to wager 2600 to get above this 200 Um Lindsay, to cover Tiambi, at least 2400 I don't really see anything that's going to happen here. Just put that there. To cover an unsafe wager by Tiambi, if Tiambi for some reason goes for 2400 herself, uh, at least 4,800, put that way down here, but of course go for everything. I suppose Tiambi could wager 2,400 at a minimum, or at a maximum. Yeah, 2,400 at a maximum, so we'll put that there, so as not to fall below Lindsay's pre-final total. And, uh, yeah, not much else going on here. So here's the situation. Lindsay is kind of pegged into this $4,600 range. Well, by range, I mean single point. If she wants to cover Ben, she can add a dollar. On the downside, <clears throat> if, she add, if Lindsay adds that dollar, Tiambi adds that extra dollar, they'll fall into a tie. Ben's definitely going to want to stay above that by wagering at most $2,199. Actually, in his situation, I'd go for $7,000. Only if you like the category, though, or feel you have a decent shot at it. The upside for the 7,000 wager is it covers this, uh, it, it potentially puts them into a tie with this $4,600 wager by Lindsay, and uh, it covers this $200 wager as well, or a, a zero wager. I think I've spoken enough about this in the past. Typically, I like when people add the dollar because it 
not only takes things into their own hands, there's a uh, an alignment of responses, and I don't know why I'm blanking out what the word is, a correlation of correct responses. Uh, but the weird thing is, it could be a correlation on the downside, too. So Tiambi at, at most wants to wager 7,001, just in case Lindsay goes for 4,601. Okay. Enough talking. I'm going to go watch now and see what actually happens. Quite an intriguing range of wagers there. Unfortunately, none of them were particularly good. Tiambi, I said, could only wager at most 7,001 because if she gets it wrong and Lindsay goes for this 4601 and also gets it wrong, she has a tie on the downside. Ben, very savvy with this 2,200. The problem with that is if he gets it wrong, he's got 4,800. If Tiambi goes for this 7,000 even, she falls to 4,800. If Lindsay goes for this 4,600 even, the wager to tie him out, she falls to 4,800. So uh, Ben is unnecessarily risking a tie there. Lindsay, maybe the best of the three, mathematically, 9,400. Takes into account a smaller wager by Tiambi. We haven't seen enough out of her to know whether she's going to play conservatively or if she maybe doesn't like a uh, literature category. But she got it, and... Pretty much everything was rendered moot by the outcome of the final gets. I guess Lindsay could have wagered 199, stay above Ben or zero or what have you, but hey, she made moves. Tiami goes for three tomorrow. We haven't had a four-timer yet. Is it too early to make comparisons to some random four-timer? I don't know. We'll find out what happens tomorrow, and I hope you'll join me then for perhaps a mathematical situation even more satisfying than this one on the final wager.